Now to a developing story, parts of Kentucky now unrecognizable after a deadly tornado hammered that state. Kentucky is one of several states dealing with the construction. Injuries and loss of life after more than two dozen tornadoes struck this weekend. This is something you don't think is going to happen in your own community. So uh, you just can't take things for granted. For Kentucky, it's the deadliest tornado event in its history. State officials say the severe weather killed more than 80 people. The death toll is expected to rise. The outbreak is also responsible for more than a dozen other deaths in Arkansas, Tennessee, Missouri, and Illinois, where six people died in the partial collapse of an Amazon facility. Well, there's a local pastor here drawing comparisons between the catastrophe this weekend and the devastating storms that swept through Coweta and Heard counties earlier this year. Our very own Joe Ripley spoke with him about the cleanup and recovery efforts still fresh on his mind, Joe. Hey, good evening to you, Ron. About nine months ago, you'll remember a few weeks before Easter, Joel Dover lost his church building, Cavalry Chapel, there in Noonan. An EF4 tornado destroyed much of the landscape of Coweta and Heard counties. Officials say the storm wrecked 1,700 homes and businesses there, leveled hundreds of trees and power lines, and the storm did thousands of dollars in damage. One person lost their life due to the storms there. The cleanup and rebuild continues to this day. Meantime, in Kentucky and other states across the South and the Midwest, the death toll could top 100. Dover says when he heard about the destruction this weekend, it was like reliving those moments back in March that hit so close to home. It's complete and total chaos. You know, when something like a tornado hits you and you encounter the kind of destruction like what we did in March and what these sweet people in Kentucky and throughout those other states are experiencing is complete and total chaos. Uh, you, you just don't know where to start. Tonight after the game, Dover's words of encouragement for those ravaged communities. Plus, more on how you can help and the red flags to look out for if you decide to donate to the storm victims.